Good morning, everybody. Welcome to story time. The first thing that we're going to do is pray. So everyone close your eyes, close your hands, and repeat after me. Dear God, we thank you for this time where we can learn about your word. Help us to understand how you care for us, not just by providing what we physically need, but also by giving us life through Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Last week, we learned about how Jesus has the power to heal. Do you guys remember who Jairus was? He was a man of great importance. He was one of the rulers of the synagogue, which is the place where the Jews would gather to worship God. Jairus fell at Jesus' feet and begged him to save his daughter, for she was about to die. He said to Jesus, Please come to my house and lay your hand on my daughter so she may be made well and live. On the way to Jairus' house, a woman who was sick heard that Jesus was approaching. She had been bleeding for 12 years and had used all her money to see doctors, but no doctor could help her. She thought, if only I could just reach out and touch even his garments, I will be made well. She had great faith. So this woman ran up to Jesus and touched his garment, and immediately she stopped bleeding. Jesus told the woman, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. And while Jesus was speaking to the woman, another person ran up to Jairus and said, Your daughter is dead. Jesus went into the house where Jairus' daughter was, and there was a lot of wailing and crying, for people were sad that Jairus' daughter had died. Jesus asked, Why are you making all this commotion and weeping? This child is not dead, but sleeping. The people laughed at him. But Jesus took the little girl's hand and said, Little girl, arise. And immediately the girl got up and began walking and everyone was amazed. This is what we learned last week. And our story today is about Jesus, the bread of life, provides bread for the 5,000. It is taken from Mark chapter 6, verse 33 to 44, and John chapter 6, verse 1 to 4, and 22 to 35. The story begins with many people starting to notice Jesus and the miracles he was performing. It was not just 10 people. It was not just 100 people, not even a thousand people, but hundreds and thousands of people began to follow Jesus wanting to learn more. Jesus saw the crowd and had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. He began to teach them many things. But when it began to grow late, Jesus' disciples came up to him and said, There is nothing to eat around this place, and it's getting late. You should send these people home so they can buy something to eat. But Jesus told them, You can give them something to eat. The disciples knew it would be very expensive to buy bread for all these people, so they asked Jesus what they should do. Jesus said, How many loaves of bread do you have? Go see. So the disciples went amongst the crowd, asking what the people had. And together they gathered five loaves of bread and two fish. Do you think that's enough to feed all those people? Jesus then commanded everyone to sit down in groups in the green grass. So people sat down in the groups of hundreds and by fifties. And Jesus then took the bread and the fish and he prayed and broke the loaves of bread and gave them to the disciples to give to other people. He then divided the fish as well and asked people to pass out the food. All the people ate and were satisfied. They were no longer hungry. 
Then they gathered all the leftovers, and there were twelve whole baskets full of broken pieces of bread and fish. The number of men who ate the bread was five thousand. Five thousand just from those five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus performed a miracle so that all five thousand men could eat. The next day, the crowd went out and looked for Jesus. When they found Jesus, they asked Jesus, "Why did you leave?" Jesus told them, "Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of loaves." He told them, "I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst." Jesus truly cared for the people he saw, and provided for their physical need by feeding them the bread and fish. However, he reminded them that he not only provides for their physical needs, but he also gives them new life when we believe in him and his word. Now it's time for us to go over our memory verse. Remember, each week, if you send a video to the teachers showing us that you memorized the verse, we will put a penny in your jar. When you get ten pennies, you get gummy bears. Our Bible verse is from Proverbs twenty nine eleven. Repeat after me as we read this verse: A fool gives full vent to his anger, but a wise man keeps himself under control. Proverbs. Twenty nine eleven. Let's close in a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for caring for us and providing for our every need. Help us to continue to learn more as we study your word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. See you guys next week. Bye.